Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Coin by Kathleen Miller. I'm putting on my gloves, as you can see, because my hands are so sore from getting the paint off. But anyways, ta-da! I'm not in black today. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One of my subscribers made me a mishmash shirt. As you can see, the drizzle is all around the mishmash. Thank you. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's pretty cool. It is cool. I was so excited and so surprised when I went to the mailbox because I'm thinking, who is this? Oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome. And it is. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so today I am starting a series of colors. And I'm doing it on the, the bases of um, different colors. I'm starting out with my house paint, I just, my color place house paint, all I did was add my golden fluid acrylic Prussian blue hue to it. You just mix it around in your house paint. You don't need anything but these colors. So that's what I came up with. I'm starting it today, the 10 by 10s with the colored base. My colors that I'm using in it is boysenberry and hydrangea pigment color art uh, primary element pigments. This is pearl papaya, orange red by Arteza, and mandarin blush and orange peel pigment by Color Art. Jasmine and Sunset Glow pigment Color Art, primary yellow by Amsterdam, pearl rose by Arteza, PBO is iridescent green yellow and olive green by Arteza and Amsterdam Pearl Green and Interference Gold Pigment. So let's get drizzling everybody. Okay, so you're gonna do a series of different colored bases. Correct. Okay, well, that's gonna be cool. We shall see. <laughs> well, that, that color goes really good with this light. It does, doesn't blue it? Blue base color. Yeah, I thought, well, why not, but I am still keeping my black cell activator only because I love how it brings out the vibrancy in the colors. So I've used different cell activator colors. I, they're pretty, but um, it's just not my thing. I have nothing against it. I mean, you can use whatever color cell activator you want, but my to go to is black at this time. So, we'll see. We'll see how this goes with this color in my house paint, the Prussian Blue Fluid Acrylics. I don't know, it might make it too thin. I, I don't know until I swipe. That's when we're gonna get some magic. I think you're Hopefully. gonna be fine. I think you're gonna be fine because you don't have to put too much of that in with the regular house paint you use for no, your base No, because it's anyway, pretty pigmented. So. It shouldn't affect, you know, how, how uh, watery it is. No, hopefully. And this is Jasmine and Sweet Glue pigment. Remember, people, you want to bring it out to the side so that you don't have a lot of just white base or blue base in this instance or black base like I did the last time. Yeah, so you're drizzling all the way out to the sides and you're just trying to drizzle all over with all the colors. Correct. And leaving some spaces in between so you can actually see the the base color. Correct. Okay. Phil, you are learning, let me tell you. Okay, this one is Pearl Rose by Arteza. One of the 23 colors that I mixed up the other day. <laughs> I didn't have to mix paints today. All I did was mix my base. It's all about the base. Megan Trainer. I can't sing that because it's not an oldie. It's not on Phil's oldies. <laughs> <laughs> you better not sing it. We'll have to pay a royalty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, isn't that something? Well, you have to pay royalties. That's how the artists get paid, so I think yeah, that's, that's true. fair. It's true. Okay. 
This might be kind of light, this color. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. You All know right. what? No. The mishmash is done. It looks just like it, doesn't oh, it? Look at that. Look at that. It looks just like it. I know. I love this shirt. <laughs> it's a mishmash. I should do a mishmash dance. Okay. On to the swiping. Queen of spades. 13 points against you in hearts. Oh, great. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh. I like that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it sounds like I'm in a haunted house. Ooh. Yeah, if I'd hear somebody do that outside at night, oh my gosh, I'd probably scream. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that's doing its thing. It is. I'm getting excited. Ooh, these colors are pretty. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty. Okay, on to the king of spades. Okay, just plain old playing cards with your the black cell activator on there. The queen, she okay. pooped out. Yeah. And you just lightly spread that over. Correct. And you clean it after every swipe. Which you learned, Phil. I did, the hard way. Yes, you I did. learned that the hard way. If you don't clean it after every swipe, you're dragging excess paint over and you're not getting uh, enough cell activator on top of the paint. Wow, this thing is really popping some beauties. It's beauty, beauty. Ooh, it is, isn't and, it? Yeah. And we're getting the the tinge of the light blue base coming through. That's what we want. And throughout the series, you're gonna be using different colored bases, so it should be interesting to see. And they'll all be in works. my Etsy shop. If anybody is interested in them, they will all be for sale. If this you see it. something that you like. Yeah, sorry, this is actually the first of the series she's gonna do. Correct. Uh, I don't know how many I'm going to do. No, I know, but we're going to do several different colored bases and see if any pique your interest for future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to see just what becomes of this. I wanted to spice it up a little bit. Um, so I'm spicing up with my, my bases, not my cell activator. Most likely, my activator will be black on all of them. But you'll be using different colors depending on what color base oh, yeah, you choose. Oh yeah, definitely. So, the main thing is that you still get the wide variety of cells from the activator. Because that's what you want. Yeah, that's what uh, the swiping stage is supposed to do for you. If you're not getting all these cells and you're getting a lot of base paint up or whatever it, it's you're pressing too hard you're either pressing too hard or your base paint is too thin and your pigments and paints that you're drizzling are just kind of drowning in it so that's what you don't want to happen right Yeah, see, this is what we want to happen. We want all these beautiful cells to keep coming up. Keep coming up, baby. If, you're, if too much of your base paint starts showing, that again means it's too thin and, and your paints and pigments that you've drizzled are being sort of, they're falling, how would you actually say it? They're drowning. They're drowning. Yeah, there we go. They're drowning. It's, it's drowning in there and not staying on the surface where you want them. Right. Yeah, they're drowning. 
what Kathy's doing now is working on the what she calls the rivers, which are these uh, these black lines, but also we have this long line right there that she doesn't like to have showing before the spin. I mean, that's up to you. If you like, if you like the river, um, that's fine. I just don't like it because it um, they expand. It expands way too much for me. So I always like to cover them up. Okay, I think we're almost ready for the reckoning. And as you can see, Kathy literally swipes over the whole canvas. Yeah, I don't to leave. get as many cells as possible in every, in every part of the canvas. I don't leave anything untouched, like that little corner. <laughs> Got to get the corner. Okay, so we got that done. Now, now comes the fun part, people. We're going to do the wrecking. I think I'm going to come and then go that way. <laughs> well, that told me a lot. <laughs> okay. Come and go here and there, everywhere. Didn't you catch that, Phil? Come on, Phil. You know me. Oh, okay. oh you're going to do the double wreck right through the center. Cool. Yep, I'm That's doing the double. Cool. That should be interesting when you spin it. It should be. As you can see, Kathy's using a pointy stick to do this, and she does clean it after every wreck. Because again, you don't want to be dragging other paint through it. Is it, going, it looks like it's going to be uh, really pretty. Uh, you've got a ton of coloration in this, even though you only used six colors. And then with the base, and I love how uh, that base color is showing through here and there. <sighs> I'm almost ready, Phil, to do our spin a -roo. As soon as I get my activator back in my thing, I don't want it to dry out. It's very important to have fresh activator and keep it covered when you're not using it. And like I said, to get a color of your base, you want the glow, glow, golden <laughs> fluid acrylics. Okay. And they come in numerous colors. Um, they're expensive, but you don't need a lot. So, okay. So we did the base, the drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, and now we're doing the spin a -roo. Spin! But before I do that, abracadabra, <laughs> show oh. me your magic. That's the most important part. Exactly. Okay, Phil, get ready. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Okay. Look at this. Whoa, okay. Wow. This is cool. This is very cool. Holy camoly. That turned out really I don't really think nice. I even uh, want to spin it no, the opposite way. I don't think way. I would spin it. I can't. I can't do it. I got to stop right here. The magic <laughs> really, <laughs> really did. happened. Again, you can see the, the blue that came through. In different areas from yeah. the base, which is nice, instead of uh, you know the white uh, that Kathy uses uh, normally, and so I'm excited to see the other colors that, that you're going to use in the future uh, paintings that you did. So well, I'm not even going to tell you because I'm going to just Surprise. wait until you come upstairs. Right. Look at these uh, wrecking lines that Kathy did; they just turn into really cool. Like flowery type swirls and They're so beautiful. forth, and and the colors of this are just very vibrant and it, deep. It's amazing. And turned out super well. This is beautiful. So this this was actually 
uh, number one in the series that Kathy is going of to color do. color bases. Of color, different color bases to start out with uh, on her drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin technique. Yep. So stay tuned, everybody, because I'm not going to give any hints what colors I'm doing. You're going to know when you see it. Um, don't ask Phil because Phil's not going to know. He will not know because he does not enter up into my lab because he might have to do something. By tomorrow, up there. I'll forget what color you use today, anyways. Yeah, so. you will. That's why we wrote it down already. But, anyways, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. I had a lot of fun designing this, thinking of a color. I already know my color for tomorrow. Um, no hint, hint. And like I said again, Bonnie, thank you very, very much for this shirt. I absolutely love it. And it just, I love it. I can't say anymore. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love you to subscribe to our channel. Like I said, this series will go into my Etsy shop when they are finished. And I will show them when they're finished. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hit the, but the bell because you'll be notified. And um, if you want to share it, share it. I would love it. Bring in a comment and um, tell me what you think. Okay, until tomorrow, I'll see you later. Bye.